Hi, greetings to all. I am Dr. Vinay. Today I'll be talking about a common uh, problem is hepatitis. There are multiple viruses which can cause hepatitis in an individual. One among them which is quite common is hepatitis C. Now hepatitis C is very common, uh, so common that it usually is underdiagnosed and mostly the patients come with in a later stage of liver problems that is when they develop fibrosis or hardening of the liver called as liver cirrhosis. Now why I chose the topic to talk to you about is this problem is can be addressed properly with the new age medications which can completely help to cure the disease. Now first we'll talk about hepatitis C. Hepatitis C is a virus which affects your liver, causes inflammation and damage. Now how it spreads? Commonly it is seen among healthy individuals who don't have any problems. So you may not diagnose based upon the symptoms. Now hepatitis C can be so indolent in our body that it may not produce any symptoms. Maybe just its level might be increased in our body. How it gets transmitted? Usually this gets transmitted by blood or blood related products when it is transfused from an infected patient to the individual who is not infected prior. Or it could be simple injections which are disinfected or using uh, disinfected instruments on another person. The other modes of contact would be through sexual contact or it could also can be transmitted to some extent from mother to child if the mother is infected. Now, so there are multitude ways of getting this infection, but it is mostly related to blood and blood related products. So what is the symptoms? What are the symptoms? So when should we approach for the testing? Usually, we should test any patient who are at high risk for this kind of things. Say if you had got any previous blood transfusion which is not taken uh, care or not tested properly. Second, if there is any injury from an uh, object which can transmit blood from one person to another person, say a syringe or uh, health instruments like knife etc. Third, if a mother is uh, bearing uh, is in the in her pregnancy, one can test herself so that the, the child can be prevented get the infection from the mother. What are the symptoms? Usually, most of the patients may not be symptomatic or they don't have any symptoms related to their liver problems. Some might develop fatigue, weakness, mild grade fever which is undiagnosed or it could be weight loss or sometimes the patients may develop jaundice and other liver related problems. Now how can you diagnose yourself or how someone can diagnose you is when you approach a doctor or a lab to get it tested hepatitis C antibody levels. Now if there is hepatitis C antibody levels positive in yourself try to approach a hepatologist or a gastroenterologist so that they diagnose the active stage or inactive stage in your body by trying to detect the RNA levels through tests in the blood. So once if there is a presence of RNA virus in your blood, you can easily be treated with the current medications which usually of a course of three to six months and with that once the medicines are taken, one can be completely cured of hepatitis C for a lifetime. So if you are diagnosed early, treated properly, one can prevent the progression of liver disease in them and subsequently liver cirrhosis and liver cirrhosis related cancers can be prevented. So my humble request is whenever if you feel that it can be it should be tested you can approach a doctor and get it tested so that if it is diagnosed earlier and treated properly you can lead a healthy safe life. Thank you.